Well, welcome back to Trebet Knots. I'm John. This video is going to be two tutorials. One is going to be on a 10 strand flat braid that I call whatchamacallit because it doesn't have a name because I don't know what it is. I just made it up. Not claiming to have created a new knot, just made it up and can't find it in any other books. I'm sure somebody's done it in the past. What have you? Whatever. Uh, and then also, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this. The miter corner covers that I'm using on this frame, which is really a T-shaped sailor's cross without the top part. There's bird. Uh-oh, got to watch my feet here. Anyway, less talking, more tying. On to the tutorial. This sennet right here, it's a 10 strand flat braid sennet that I basically made up. I'm not saying invented a new knot, folks, but it's a sennet that I made up. I came up with it uh, on the first frame that I made. I actually uh, used it as the outside band here on my first frame. So there's that, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So here's how you tie this 10 strand whatchamacallit. And what I'm using here is uh, number 120, three strand from Nautical USA. And I got 10 strand, three, six, nine, 10. And here's how you do it. Three strands over two and under three. Then the easiest way to keep track of this for me is then just tuck these two under from the right, and now you've got two over three, under two. And then tuck these three under those two. So you're always kind of working from the left to keep the pattern straight. Now I'm at three, over two, under three, and you'll immediately see, it's beginning to alternate three and two down the middle. I'm tucking these two under, then two over three under two <clears throat> and tuck these three under three over two under three and tuck these two under two over three under two back and forth back and forth three under these two, and then from the left, three over two under three. Ties pretty quickly too, another bonus. Two under three here. Two over three under two. I mean, there you have it. I mean, this is how this goes. And so you have three, two, three, two, three, two, three, and on and on and on and on and on, running down the middle. I find it rather appealing. A sinnet with character. So here it comes, folks. Tutorial number two on the Sailor's Cross corner cover. So what you're looking at here is the result of having tied this mat, and it is a mat, the first time getting it the right size, and then I made a template with an over-under pattern, as you see before you, so that I could duplicate, well, actually quadruple it, and uh, do it pretty easily with an over-under pattern. And now I'm going to speed this up and let you listen to the music and watch me tie this.
is I'm putting a light coating of clear water-based polyurethane on here. <clears throat> and what that does is it'll allow this to hold its shape. So, then when I decide to, when I get to the end here and I'm actually attaching it to the frame as a feature, well, the last thing, it's probably pretty much the last thing to go on is this, these corners. Then they'll uh, we'll be ready to go. Well, thanks for watching. That is all for today. And we're in the home stretch on this frame. Not too terribly much more to go. But we'll see you next time.